Hello viewers. Uh, today's topic is uh, hemoglobin. So the question is, what is hemoglobin? Now, hemoglobin is the protein molecule in red blood cells that uh, carry oxygen uh, from the lungs uh, to the body tissues and returns the carbon monoxide, uh, sorry, carbon dioxide uh, from the body tissues to the lungs. Uh, hemoglobin is uh, made up of four protein molecules uh, known as uh, globulin chains you know, and that are uh, connected together. Now the normal adult hemoglobin uh, molecule contains two alpha globulin chains and two beta globulin chains you know and uh, it uh, it fetuses and uh, infants and the beta chains are not common and the hemoglobin molecule is made up of two alpha chains and two uh, gamma chains you know uh, as the infants grow the gamma chains are gradually replaced by the beta chains you know and uh, forming the adult hemoglobin structure now each globulin chain contains an important uh, uh, iron containing uh, uh, proferrin compound uh, termed heme, you know, H E M E. And uh, embedded within the uh, heme compound is uh, an iron atom and that is uh, white iron oxygen uh, and uh, uh, it's vital for the transportation of oxygen and carbon dioxide, you know. And the iron contained hemoglobin is also responsible for the red color of the blood, you know. Now the hemoglobin also plays an important role in uh, maintaining uh, the shape of the red blood cells. And uh, in their natural shape, the red blood cells are around the narrows, uh, narrow center resembling uh, a donut without a hole, you know, uh, in the middle, you know. And abnormal hemoglobin structure can therefore disrupt the shape of the red blood cells and uh, impair uh, uh, their function and uh, flow through the blood vessels, you know. And the next question is, uh, uh, how is hemoglobin measured, you know? So, well, hemoglobin is usually measured as part of the routine complete blood count test uh, of the blood sample, you know. And uh, several methods exist for measuring the hemoglobin and most uh, of which uh, are done currently by automated machines designed to perform the different tests uh, of the blood, you know. And uh, within the machine, the red blood cells are broken down uh, to get the hemoglobin into a solution, you know. And uh, the free hemoglobin is exposed to a chemical containing uh, cyanide that binds, the tight, it, uh, binds tightly with the hemoglobin molecule from the uh, cyano uh, 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 methemoglobin you know now by shining uh, shining a light through the solution and measuring uh, how much light is absorbed you know uh, specifically at wavelength of 540 uh, millimeters the amount of hemoglobin can be determined you know uh, now the next question is once my year, what are the normal values of the hemoglobin in a blood? Uh, well, in the newborns, it should be between 17 to 22 uh, and a GM per de deciliter, you know. And uh, one week of age, it should be 15 to 20. And the children should be around 11 to 13 GM per deciliter, you know. And the adults, if they are male, it should be 14 to 18. And if they are females, it should be normal as 12 to 16. Uh, now, men after the middle age, it's 12.4 uh, to 14.9. And uh, women after the middle age should be 11.7 to 13.8. And so these are the normal values. Um, if uh, the hemoglobin level is lower than this, uh, it's not in this range, so then this means you are anemic and uh, you need probably the, need the supplements, you know, like uh, rich iron diets or the organ meat or uh, 
maybe the uh, iron tablets you know thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information you can visit our website www.diseasesintreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day thank you goodbye